Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to play around with grouping of list view as well as grouping of collection view inside our Xamarin forms application. And moreover, we are going to use our Firebase in order to group our list view as well as collection view. So stay tuned. Here on the left, we have our client app and on the right, we have our server app. And we are going to send some uh, information from our server app to the uh, our client app and uh, all the list items are going to display in the form of grouping list in our client app. So this is the whole procedure that we will be following inside our uh, Xamarin Forms application that is we are going to send our information from one uh, app and then we are going to get all the information back towards our client app. So. Uh, we'll be generating that type of project like the client app as well as the server app uh, module inside this project. So first thing first we have two folders named as client and server folder. If you are well known about MBVM way then this tutorial is going to benefit you as we are going to use Firebase database console inside our Xamarin Forms application in order to interact between our server and client. Whenever you log in into your Firebase database, then you will just get this dashboard and here I'm going to add a new project named as grouping project. I click on continue and we don't need any Google Analytics settings. So clicking on continue will let you to go inside your Firebase database. Now here I'm going to select my real time database and inside our uh, locked section mode, we'll just select that. Then this is the URL that we'll be using. Uh, inside our Xamarin Forms app, but before that, uh, let's change the read and write settings to auth to null. So I'll just remove that. Now let's publish these rules for our real time database. Now our rules are published. So inside our data, we have this URL that need to be copied. So click on, on this icon is going to copy it or else select it and then copy it and then which will be used inside our application now let's go to the app.xaml we have two pages that is getting initialized you can see over here this new space we are not going to discuss as of now that is a client app and uh, this admin is the page that we are going to discuss which contains a basic ui that is like this and from the server app we are going to send the information to the client app so inside our views we have a new page name as admin newsfeed page and this is a content page you can see over here and it has very basic ui that is some level some entry editor and the button so whenever this button is clicked then we are going to take this editor content inside our admin news page dot xaml dot cs so this is the button click event handler and then you can see over here we have a editor control and this code is going to help us send our information to the firebase database so in order to do that we are going to select the main shared project and then we are going to type firebase database.net or uh, firebase.net here you can see we have firebase.net we are not going to use that for sure we are going to use this uh, firebase.net so we don't need that thing so this is the firebase database.net and uh, this is uh, going to be added inside our shared project that's all so firebase database.net now let's initialize our firebase database.net client that is our firebase client using firebase database and then we are going to initialize our firebase client with the same url that we just copied so uh, this is the variable that will take all the contents to the firebase database so you can see over here we are going to create a new stable so this is inside our models folder that is very basic so these two datas are going to be sent in terms of table to the firebase database so this new stable is going to hold these two datas that are coming from this model folder and this model folder will contain that new stable so we are going to call that same model folder class and then you can see over here another insulin will tell that we are going to use our firebase database query so this query is going to post our data and uh, these are the two namespaces and uh, this is the third namespace that will be called inside 
our admin newspeed.jaml.cs so these are the things that are required in order to send data in the form of tables to the firebase database so now i am going to set our admin newspeed as my starting project and you can see over here now we are going to add the data to the firebase database in the form of table so whenever i click on send button then we are going to send our information to the firebase database so you can see over here news data time and the news text is going to be published in our firebase database and if that is not published then there might be some issues and i highly recommend to add some breakpoint and see what's the issue there so this is the data that is going to be published to our firebase database now our next work is to create our client app so this server app is over now we are going to create another folder named as client folder and then we are going to create a new page named as our news page inside our views folder you can see over here a new content page and this is also a very basic ui you can just see over here we have our stack layout which is keeping one button named as refresh and then another as a list view if you have played around with list view then this uh, tutorial is going to benefit you and this is the button you can see over here that is a refresh button and this is the list view that is getting its item source from our view model so if you are very much confident about mbvm then this tutorial is going to help you and uh, you can use your collection view too uh, and this is the list view that is getting the item source from our news items you can see over here this news items is going to uh, get all this data as well as content from our views model so you can see over here i have used text cell and you can just use and play around with the uis uh, if you want to using your view cell and this is the list view and this is the refresh list so let's data bind our news page with our view model so this is the news view model class that i have created inside our view models folder so this is the view model folder where i have created that same class and this class is going to call our bindable object which is inside our uh, xamarin forms here i am going to create an observable collection of one model class which we will be discussing it later so this news items is going to be called from our views and which is a public access identifier and you can see over here we have a refresh list as well as news items that is getting called from our views now we are going to discuss about this news model class that is getting called inside our client news model class so this group client new model is an observable collection of our client news model dot cs so this is going to wrap so this is where we have defined uh, our uh, group client news model class and this group client new model class is an observable collection of clients new model that means in order to group our data we need this type of representation in order to wrap the data in the form of grouping headers so this grouping header will call this news contains out of that published date and time so this is the published date and time and the list of data is going to be called that is a list of news so you can just wrap any type of contents like news ids or something like description over there or images also we can just uh, use there below the news and we are going to call this group client news model and then we are going to create a collection of items and which need an initialization so you can see over here whenever that uh, perform refresh button is called then i'm just going to call this method that is like this constructor that is get news model constructor so same as like before here i'm initializing our firebase client and then we are going to use this same id so we are just going to copy it right click on that and then copy it then we are going to paste it over here I should exclude this and then paste it over there now we are again going to call that news table that is our news table that is inside our servers so you can just create an uh, another table inside your models folder also that is not a very big deal so if you are just going to change to uh, your own model class then you can just use it so now we are going to arrange our list to 
our date and time so publish date and time that is our uh, the date and time that was published so we are going to just order it so you can just order it uh, in the term in terms of ascending as well as descending order so uh, anything as you like then we are going to create a distinct header groups that is distinct header groups is going to be called over here in this for each loop and which helps us to really identify what are the unique uh, headers that are inside that uh, header group then we are going to create a list of contents and we are going to add that specific news group item content to the list that we have created so this is the new group that has uh, the items and this news content that is initialized over here i don't need to initialize that there it should be called every time whenever this news information is called because every time we are going to create a new separate list of items that will collect uh, the data and put it inside that list item so this is the list item uh, that is going to be uh, added with the news group items so we are going to collect all the information from our firebase then we are going to use our app to get all the data that is inside our firebase in the form of grouping headers so here i am setting my iphone 11 pro as my uh, client app and the iphone 8 as my server app so you can see over here the app gets reloaded in my another iphone and then we can just see over the uh, next screen that uh, the iphone 11 max is now uh, getting all the data from our firebase in the form of grouping headers and you can see over here if i send another data from our server app then if i click on refresh then we will get our resulting data on our next phone so our client as well as the server app is over in the form of our uh, grouping headers data now we can just increment our date and time to something like add dates dot now dot add dates and we can just increment by uh, one day and then let's set our admin app again to iphone 8 so that we are going to send our data from one phone so let me open the another iphone 2 so that we'll just see all the resulting data now we have incremented our phone with uh, next day so let's add some data to the server app if i click on refresh then we'll just see this type of data so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials